So I'm going to open a new slide. All right? And then I'm going to write down the equation of V. So I know that V is equal to 3T squared minus 6T. Okay? So I have to see the sine of V. I know that this is a second degree uh, polynomial equation, which means, guys, I should, in order to find the sine of V, I should find the roots T1 and T2. And I know, guys, uh, that uh, uh, between these two roots, it should be the different sign or different than the, the sign of A, right? And uh, before and after uh, these roots, the sign will be the same sign of A, right? Remember? So you can remember this by putting the sign, the symbol of different. So between them, it is different. Before T1, after T2, it is equal to the sign. Which means, guys, which means between T1 and T2, the sign is different than plus 3, which, is, which means it is minus. And before T1, it's positive. After T2, it is positive. All right, guys? Now, what I should know is what are T1 and T2? How to know uh, T1 and T2? I'm going to take T as a common factor, which means I have T, 3T minus 6. And this is equal to 0 if T1 is equal to 0 or T2 is equal to 2. All right? And this means that T1 is equal to 0 and T2 is equal to 2. All right? So, guys, what I have to do now is... So eliminate this part. Why should I eliminate this part? Because, in fact, I don't have a, a negative time. Right? I don't have a time that is before zero. Right? So I'm going to be restricted to this part. And this means, guys, that when T is between zero and two, V is negative. And when T is greater than two, then V is positive. And what does this mean, guys? This means that this is the path of this particle. This particle is moving to the left until t is equal to 2 seconds. So during the first 2 seconds, this particle is moving to the left, and then it turns around, and then it is moving to the right until t is equal to 3.5 seconds. Is that clear, guys? Is that clear? How can I find the displacement and the total distance traveled? How can I find the total distance traveled? So, guys, I know that from 0 to 2 seconds, this particle is going to the left, and then after 2 seconds, this particle is going to the right. How, how can I find the total distance traveled? So, how can I find ST? What I should do, guys, in fact, is to find S at T is equal to 2. And to find S at T is equal to 3.5. All right? So I should find S at T is equal to 2 and S at T is equal to 3.5. In order to find S, of course, I should do the integration of V. All right? So I should do the integration of V knowing that S is equal to 0 when T is equal to 0. So, uh, the equation that I should use is ds is equal to v dt, and I'm going to replace v by 3t squared minus 60. All right, so I should do the integration on t and s, knowing that s is equal to 0 when t is equal to 0, and then this is s. Right, guys? So I should do s here. If you do s, if you do uh, it's from 0 to 2, you can find S at 2. Then you have to repeat the integration between 0 and 3.5 to find S at 3.5. So now, guys, I can find the, the general equation of S and then substitute T by 2 and 3.5. So this is what I'm going to do. And this means, guys, that S is equal to 3 T3 3 over 3, which is T3, minus 6 T squared over 2 minus 3 T. Right? And this means, guys, 
and 3t squared, sorry. And this means that when s is equal to 2, 8 minus, uh, 8 minus uh, 12, it is minus 4. It should be negative, all right? Because I know that at t is equal to 2, v is negative, so s is to the left. All right, and when t is equal to 3.5, s will be equal to 6.125. All right, so now, guys, I can find the total distance dropped. What do you think, guys, is st? st will be equal. So I know, guys, that st, er, the distance traveled is going from O to the left and then to the right. So what I'm going to say, st is equal to this 4 plus this 6.125. What do you think? Is this correct? So it is 4 plus 6.125. Is this correct, guys? Why it is not correct? What do I miss? Yes, perfect, Jad. Yes, perfect, Abbas. Guys, don't forget that this 6.125 is the position at 3.5. So it is from O, in fact. So this S2 is from O to this point, all right? Which means, guys, I missed this distance here. I have two four. In fact, the particle is moving from O till 4, and then it is turning around by 4, and then it is moving to the right by 6.125. So I have 2, 4, all right? So this is ST. Whenever you know ST, you can find the uh, uh, average speed, which is ST, 14.125 over 3.5, and this is will be 4.04, .04, and then you can find the average velocity, which is delta S, 6.125, over 3.5 minus 0, which is 1.75. And you can see, guys, that, of course, the average speed is much higher than the average velocity. In fact, it is either equal or greater than the average velocity. All right, guys? No questions at all? What is delta S? Delta S, Jad, is the displacement. Delta S, if you go back to the slides and the videos, delta S is the displacement. It is here, S at T is equal to 3.5 minus S at T is equal to 0. This is the displacement. It's S prime minus S, if you remember. All right? Now, what is S at T 3.5? It is 6.125. And what is S at T is equal to 0? It is 0. So delta S don't take in, doesn't take into account what? The path follow. Right? So it doesn't take into account this 4. This 4 doesn't matter for delta S because, in fact, delta S is only related to the position, to the position at these two instants. It doesn't depend on the path followed. Unlike the distance traveled, that depends on the whole distance traveled by this part. Right, Chad? Any other question? Any other question? Okay, so guys, you don't have any other question. I'm gonna stop the meeting now. You can, all right, guys, see you next time. Thank you.